So 4.3.2 and 4.3.3. Electrolysis of molten ionic compounds and extracting metals. So let's think of a, a molten ionic compound. So when a molten ionic compound like zinc chloride is electrolyzed, zinc and chlorine are produced. So the ionic compound is broken down into its, its elements, zinc and chlorine. The metal forms at the negative electrode called the cathode. That's because the metal ions are positively charged, so they're attracted to the negative electrode. The non-metal forms at the positive electrode. That's called the anode. And that's because the non-metal ions are negative, so they're attracted to the positive electrode. So metals more reactive than hydrogen, or metals that react with acids, are extracted using electrolysis. During electrolysis, large amounts of energy are needed to melt the compound and to produce the current. Let's look at an example. Aluminium is extracted by electrolysis. The molten mixture of aluminium oxide and cryolite is used. Now, what does cryolite do? Well, cryolite reduces the temperature needed. So instead of melting the aluminium oxide, which takes around 2,000 degrees Celsius, then dissolving it in molten cryolite only takes 970 degrees C. This saves energy, therefore it reduces the amount of fossil fuels that need to be burnt, therefore it has a positive impact on global warming. During the extraction of aluminium, this is what happens. At the anode, the oxide ions, that means the O2 minus ions, they're attracted to the anode because they're negatively charged. When they're there, the electrons are lost. We know from oil rig, oxidation takes place because oxidation is a loss of electrons. Because there's no halide ions in solution, then the oxygen forms. And what happens then is the oxygen reacts with the electrode because the electrode is made of carbon. It's made of graphite, which is a good conductor. So oxygen is formed and that oxygen reacts with the carbon electrode to produce carbon dioxide. That means the electrode would erode, it would wear away over time and it would need replacing. At the cathode, the aluminium ions attract because they're Al3 plus and positive ions are attracted to the negative cathode. Electrons are gained. We know reduction is gain of electrons, so reduction takes place. And aluminium forms, because we're not in solution, so there's no hydrogen ions present, aluminium forms at the cathode. Make sure you understand electrolysis and make sure you understand this really big example, extracting aluminium.